Um, just to give you a quick overview how the system is working, um, obviously you go to preview or the live website itself and I'll just put my postcode to begin with um, and it says sorry uh, it's not available and if you put a um, postcode which is available in the area then this message comes up and this message is obviously coming from the data set itself and um, when you go back onto the manager there's a content manager here and you see there is uh, two new data set here one called postcode data and one um, called postcode zone so you go to postcode zone um, and I have created the six zones as you send it send me in the excel file um, one two three four five six um, and there's the message which you need to update okay so um, and if you need to change anything related to the postcode, that's you goes to the postcode data, and that's where you update the information. Okay. If you need to add another zone, it's basically you go to um, I got to the postcode zone. Um, so you go to Excel or I use numbers, so you, whichever is easier for you to use, um, you can create that. Um, and then you need three columns, uh, one called zone, one called suburb, and one called postcodes. Okay, and then just delete extra columns. Okay, so, so create a new zone. It's basically you just need to come into the postcode zone section and click at the bottom, and then you say test zone uh, needed or test message. Okay. So just make sure you copy this ID and then you go back to Excel or numbers, whichever you use, and you paste the ID in here. Here you put the test um, suburb and you, here you put the uh, postcode. So if you have a list of postcode, then obviously you what you do is you copy the list of postcode. Oops. L copy the list of postcode and obviously the name of the suburbs that's obviously you need to have it anyway and this is um, this is the ID need to be copied over here's a, a small trick is if you drag it and there's a number at the end uh, which it might be and in this case it's not so what's gonna happen is gonna one two three four things like that okay so if that's the case what you need to do you need to copy that and select the whole section and then paste it okay if you're using excel then i think it's come control d to do that that's something you need to find out i haven't used excel for a long time so once you done that so this is the id for the zone this is the suburb name and this is the postcodes and then you export as a csv I am not going to do all that because obviously I don't want to import um, that many uh, uh, dummy data in there. So I just need one. So I'll, once I'm done, I'll go file, export CSV, and then to export CSV next. New zone postcode export replace okay and then we go to postcode data click there import items choose file file next just need to make sure it's all connected properly so zone is connected to zone suburb is connected to suburb, postcode is connected to postcode, okay, and then we select next and import and that's where it's the import happen and once it's imported and there's we have test suburb, test zone automatically linked to it and 6152 is the postcode. Um, at this stage once you're done with it you need to sync sandbox to live this one as well as the postcode zone 
send, sync sandbox to live you need to do that I'm not doing it because I'm only showing you as a trial see so I'm gonna go on the preview side and I'm gonna put my postcode in and there's a test message comes up as simple as that okay I'm gonna delete the test data for you so that's that's the simplest way of doing it if you need any other help let me know and I can I can show you around thank you bye